Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. If you're not new, welcome back. Let's go ahead and get right into today's video, okay? Made in America has been canceled. As you all know, it's a music festival that happens every year. All right, they say due to severe circumstances outside of production control, Lizzo and SZA were set to headline. Now they're not doing it no more. Y'all know why this not going on no more. The whole Lizzo situation is going on. Honestly, though, I feel like... They just don't want to deal with the backlash they're going to get for having Lizzo headline a show, especially what's going on right now in the media with her. You know, she doing all this, she doing all that. It's just going to be bad press for them. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. But at the same time, though, y'all could have just not really canceled. Y'all could have just took Lizzo out and replaced her for somebody else. And then Lizzo's team could have said, oh, we couldn't make it, da 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 and gave them an excuse, okay? Or y'all could have just had SZA do it. Okay, I don't know. As you all know, people love to, you know, lie about why they can't do certain things. You you know, good goddamn well, it's because Lizzo ass could not do it because of the whole rah-rah going on right now. I hate sugarcoating. I hate all that sweet talk. Hey, it is what it is. That's why we can't do it. Okay, but that that's what's going on. Um, this is crazy. Um, I haven't really seen nothing like this since the whole entire the baby situation, you know? Like getting canceled from shows and events. I ain't seen that since the baby got canceled. So that's interesting. Uh, what's your opinion? Let me know your opinion down below in the comment section. Do you all think it's actually Lizzo or it could be something else? Or it's just you never know. Um, let me know, let me know, let me know. Let's move on to this next topic. Moving on, y'all. Beyonce earns the highest grossing concert by a female black artist, okay, of all time. And she has surpassed herself, okay? Because the last time this was done was during Beyonce's Formation World Tour era. Um, she's made well over $256 million in the Renaissance World Tour. And mind you, the tour is not even over yet. Okay. And she's already breaking her own record. Honestly, this is, this is, I'm not shocked at all though. I feel like, I really do feel like the Renaissance era is her highest quality production ever. Um, Formation was good. Yeah. But it was, you know, it was good for its time. But Renaissance, the Renaissance tour it's just amazing. And and I feel like the quality of the show is something that hasn't been done before yet in tours. I don't care what anybody's saying. Nobody is doing what has been done with the Renaissance show yet. And I don't want to hear your bullshit ass comments, but this person did that. This person, oh, my, I don't I don't care what your fave did. I don't care what your fave did. I'm saying all, all everything aside, nobody is doing what the Renaissance is doing. Nobody, nobody is performing for three hours straight other than Taylor Swift, okay? But Taylor Swift is Taylor Swift. You know, she she don't really give what Beyonce is doing on stage. You know, that's nothing. That's nothing. Okay. Yes, yeah, she on stage for three hours, but she not doing what Beyonce is doing. Okay. Dancing live, singing live, and giving out real outfits. So yeah, this tour is definitely one of the best. Now, honestly, am I shocked that she's making sixteen point five million dollars a night? Mm, no, because first of all, them tickets are expensive as hell. All right. Tickets expensive as hell, and it's a stadium. So in stadiums, you're bound to be having more of more people at the show. And it's just how it works. It's just how it works. Now, I was thinking to myself a minute ago, I was like, this could be her last tour, but I don't think this is gonna be her last tour. At first I thought that, but I don't think so anymore. You know, she has more acts to do and she has more projects to release. So yes, y'all, we gonna see, we gonna see. Let me know your opinion down below in the comment section. I would love to hear what you have to say. Let's move on into this next topic, all right? All right, y'all, the VMAs nominations has been released. Let's go ahead and get into that. Let's go ahead and get into that. First person we're gonna get into right now, Nikki. She is nominated for five awards, all right? Now, I feel like Nicki Minaj is becoming the VMA darling, all right? You know how Taylor Swift is the Grammy darling? Nicki Minaj's VMAs darling and that's not and there's nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that but I'm glad that finally some sort of award show is giving her her props all right and they're giving her the proper recognition that she deserves now she's gotten five awards let's go ahead and get into that um super freaky girl gets video of the year best hip-hop video best visual effects Nicki also was in the artist of the year category and best army video for love and the way okay I feel like she can win about I can see her pulling about four out of five and the only reason why I say four out of five is because I don't think they're going to give her Artist of the Year. I feel like they're going to give Artist of the Year to Taylor Swift because, you know, she, you know how Paola works behind the scenes. You know, you just, y'all know how that works. But um, also she won the video Vanguard last year. So, you know, I think they're going to try to, you know, balance it out. But all the Super Freaky Girl categories should be one, in my opinion. I feel like Super Freaky Girl was definitely the, one of the biggest songs of the year. 
for sure. The video eight. Okay. It had a nice concept. It was one of Nicki Minaj's best videos as of recently, in my opinion. Okay. It, you know, that was a hit. The whole era was a hit. The video was a hit. The vibes were amazing. Number one, the chart, you know, it was just everything was perfect. So I can see her getting those awards. All right. And if you don't agree with what I'm saying, I don't know what to tell you. Super Freaky Girl was a hit. It just simply was. Like, like let's not be the Lulu now. Okay. Because I can see y'all in the comments like, oh, but Super Freaky Girl. No, I said what I said before I snap your neck in two pieces. And then, then what? You can't say shit at all. But yeah, that's my opinion on that, y'all. What do y'all think? Um, let's move on to some next categories. I want to get into some more categories. All right, y'all. Doja Cat. She got five nominations as well. I don't know why she has five nominations. Um, Artist of the Year, no. Video of the Year, no. Best Collaboration, no. Best Direction, no. Best Art Direction, maybe. Who's giving her these awards? And I'm not hating, y'all. This is not hate, y'all. The thing about y'all, y'all always think that my opinion and view of things is always hate. It's not hate. It's just me being honest and fair. Doja Cat has been on hiatus for a whole year. And all of a sudden, she releases these little quick singles and songs. Now she's nominated for all these awards. I just don't think it's appropriate. I don't I don't even think the attention song has been out long enough to be getting anybody to, you know, give it any type of award yet. And why is she going to get Artist of the Year if she's been on hiatus for most of the year? Like, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't add up. It doesn't make any sense to me. So... I mean, I'm sure she's not going to win the award. I'm, 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 I know that's not going to happen. But I'm just saying, why is she even in that category? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but then again, you never know how these people are. Like I always say, sometimes you can pay for things. So you never know if that's what's going on. But VMA has always been pretty chill, in my opinion. They've never really been, you know, kind of shady or anything like that. But some of these categories, don't you care? I, mean, I can see her having best art direction for her attention. Okay, it was definitely camp. It was definitely unique. I give it that. But anything else, all the other categories, chop. Moving on, best collaboration nominees. All right, we got, you know, Dave Guetta, Post Malone, Diddy, Carol G, Metro Boone, blah, blah. We got all these people, all right? But my question is, where is The Boys a Liar? That's one of the biggest collaborations this year. Ice Spice and Pink Pantherus. Yeah, what happened to that song? Why it's not on? Why it's not nominated? VMAs, what, 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 what's T for real? What's T? Okay, The Boy's a Liar eats up all these songs in the list. If we're talking about performance and numbers, okay, because um, who the fuck is playing Diddy in 2023? Um, especially if it's not the old Diddy music, but if it's new Diddy music in 2023, who's playing that? <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> Turn it off. But yeah, Ice Spice got snubbed. Let's move on. Okay, I see you, Hallie. Hallie's new music video, Angel, has gotten over 5 million plays in less than five days. And she's doing it big. I'm proud of her. You know, honestly, though, I told, I, I had this feeling inside my heart that Hallie was going to be performing pretty damn good. I just knew it was going to happen. She's also trending top five on YouTube. Her streams on Spotify are also doing pretty well as well. So, hey, I'm here for it. It's like I've been telling y'all, this song is a breath of fresh air. I definitely can't wait until the album comes out. When the album comes out, it's going to be a vibe. I feel like it's gonna be coming out real soon too. You know, you know, she's releasing her lead single allegedly right now. So not too far away should be the album. Okay. What y'all thinking? What's your opinion? Uh let's move on to this next album. All right. Doji got some new music coming out. It's called Booty Drop. And people don't really like this because they feel like Doji is abandoning her uniqueness and her unique style. And they feel like she is selling out to the mass market of music. All right. They feel like, Dochi, what's going on? What happened to your, like, your, like, aesthetically, you know, unique music? You know, they're just like, what's going on? Now, my opinion, though, y'all don't like that music. So stop trying to act like y'all do. Every time people be, are, are different and creative, y'all don't, y'all don't ever tune in. Well, I'm not going to say all of y'all, but just some of y'all, y'all don't, most of y'all don't tune in. Okay. So she has to talk about booty to get herself on the map. Because honestly, we don't have a big song from Dochi that we all know is Dochi. Except for that What It Is, Ho, What's Up song. And even that, you know, we still need another hit from her. But, I mean, you know, y'all act like y'all care, but y'all don't. So let her do what she gotta do to get to her bag, okay? Let her make her, her you know, general public music. Get her some fans. And then she can go back to her, you know, artistically, you know, inclined music. But I definitely feel how her fans kind of feel abandoned. Like, wow, like, you know, you were giving us this different music that nobody else was making. And now you're making city girl music. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. I understand. But honestly, y'all, 
the music game is all about number streams and clout and you know just causing controversy and if you put put your booty on the internet you going viral by the next day but yeah yo, that's just my opinion on that let's move on to this next one i'm locked up they won't let me out a decade d-e-c-a-d-e -E. 10 years one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten years that's what he has gotten all right now what do y'all think about that the 10 years people were saying oh 10 years is crazy people do more stuff and they get less time in jail people were saying that you know he needs less time he needs more time people really just have been having a conversation today with this 10 years with tori all right what do y'all think at first i thought that was gonna give him about like 20 to 30 years that's just what i thought they're gonna do you know i don't know but seeing 10 is like okay 10 years a decade you know i know megan is somewhere shaking her ass on a yacht drinking liquor and don julio and ciroc and every other drink that's nearby i know she tearing them bottles up okay because you know that's what she do best she love a good drink she gonna dry the, dry the plane. I mean, what, dry the boat. Yeah, she about to do all that. So, I don't know. What y'all think about this? Let me know, let me know, let me know. Um, we gonna move on to this next topic. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna see this conversation down below in the comment section. It's gonna be juicy. Uh-oh. Seemed like Sweetie they got herself on OnlyFans. Well, a site like OnlyFans is basically like the same damn thing. It's called Fansly, but it's the same thing for real, for real. And am I surprised she's doing OnlyFans? No. I'm not surprised at all, okay? Because listen up. If your music ain't selling, okay, you ain't earning the label no money. If you ain't touring, you ain't earning the label no money. If nobody's playing your music and you don't own a business like Rihanna or other people like Selena Gomez, you know, you're not making no money. So what you gotta do? Shake that twat for some money. So, hey, get your back, sweetie, because nobody else is streaming your music like that. You know, how else is she getting money? Other than brand deals and stuff, She's not getting a coin like that. She's not touring. She's not doing... Well, she is going on tour that soon, okay? But recently, she hasn't been touring. So she need to have the coins to, you know, maintain herself until she does get on tour, you know, because she's going on tour with Tiger and YG. But she's not going to be making all that money to herself. She has to split it three ways, then taxes, then then all the fees, you know, so it's a lot. She's not, she's not earning that much money like that. So honestly, though... A lot of these artists need OnlyFans. A lot of these people need to do a little pop a twat, pop a titty, pop a booty just to get some coins. I wouldn't be surprised if I see Lotto on their next, you know, or Cardi. I wouldn't be surprised at all because I feel like they're just not the ones bringing in coins like that. You know, if you don't bring in coins like that, you got to do other things strange for a piece of change. But hey, that's just my opinion on that. I could be totally wrong. That's fine. I don't mind being wrong, but that's just my speculation and observation in this music industry. What's your opinion? Let me know down below in the comment section. Let's move on. Let's move on. Sierra. All right, y'all. Sierra is pregnant. Congratulations to her. I'm proud of her. Okay, get your coin. Do your, have your man. Have your kids. Get your family. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, This is great news. I'm so glad to hear this because Sierra... She's been through a lot with her other her other men that she's been with. So to see her, you know, having many, many kids with Russell, it's just amazing. It's beautiful to see. Um, congratulations. Um, yeah. So what y'all think about that? Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section. And don't forget to check out my other channel, y'all. Okay. Link is in my description. So just go ahead, check it out. Let me know what you think. Check it out. Hit click, view, tune in, call it juice. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Be safe.